So I watched this channel, it's called, now it's called Anthony Farrar, but it used to be called Timepiece Gentleman. And there's a lot of history, I'm not gonna go over it. I'm gonna summarize it in the, the briefest way I can. It used to be a group of people in Dallas, and then one of them was a uh, male masseuse, and he then left for California. So we actually have two companies the original Timepiece Gentleman YouTube channel is now called Grand Caliber, which is a competing company with the same employees, actually. And the new company is called Anthony Farrar, which is also called the Timepiece Gentleman, but on YouTube, it's just Anthony Farrar. And he's actually doing really well on TikTok. Um, I don't use TikTok, um, but uh, that's what I've been told. So they went from filming one video a week, and the video would be an hour and a half, two hours long. It's almost like a reality TV show for two hours. Very fascinating to watch. Um, at that time, the watch market was way up. And then they made two videos a week and they hired, so they had one videographer, then they hired a second videographer. And then he went on his other channel when he was doing California stuff. They were That channel was making one video a week. He was making daily videos a week. And they hired a third videographer. So then when they split, um, the main company, which is actually the bigger company, they took the one videographer named Matt and Anthony took the two videographers, Darby, the original videographer, I think probably uh, cust or employee two. And then they took um, the Brian, which is their newest videographer. And they went to a penthouse. It was a $2 million rental that they couldn't afford to pay. So they essentially got kicked out of it or I don't know exactly what the terminology would be but they could not pay so they were you know forced out of it maybe there are uh dep they probably lost a deposit and whatnot and now you have two videographers in Los Angeles one of the best places to be a videographer and we went from daily we went from one video a week one very very long video a week to one very long video a week and then one shorter video a week so two videos a week to videos every day, like a vlog style, to a video every week, now to a video every two weeks with two videographers. And this is why it's so interesting. It is the exact opposite of how I would personally run a business. I am creating a law firm right now of just me. I'm gonna keep it very lean until we can get fed from clients. And this business had investors and they spent the investment money on just uh, $17,000 dinners at Narset with Salt, Salt Bay. And actually that was justified because that video got like a million views before it was then deleted. There's a lot of, there's a lot of things in the middle. It's a very long story. It would probably tell, it would, if I had to tell the story the way I tell the story because I repeat a lot of things because I'm a lawyer, so it's important to repeat things to the uh, jury so they understand that like this is what is important. Um, it would probably take an hour or even two hours for me to tell the whole story. There was a lot of, you know, there was other side characters that were really important that I haven't even mentioned that would play out um, later on. <laughs> and those side characters now have YouTube channels. It, it's just like a whole, um, there's a whole like multiverse of like different people in, involved. And then for a while I just covered this because it was so interesting. And every single day, some new like news drop would happen and some, oh, they've been robbed. Uh, his partner got, he <laughs> got robbed, now he got robbed, you know, at gunpoint. Uh, oh man, this is already demonetized. You know, I, you, if you say force multiplier, that's, I've actually been looking at how not to get demonetized and people say force multiplier as you know, uh, you know, for, for the pew pew item. Um, man, I mean, you, you went, it, it's crazy, you know, it's great. You got side characters galore. You have different, you know, um, you know, Clove May, which very interesting. It, it was like a TV show. And now they're making one video every two weeks, which is the lowest amount of videos they've ever produced even though they still have that same videographer from the beginning where he could make two videos a week, maybe like, or at least that one very long video a week. And you know, he's growing, he's doing very well on other medias, TikTok. So maybe he's investing in those social medias and not YouTube. 
But you can learn something from his business. And what I learned was, yeah, sometimes you have to eat a loss. Um, and this is a guy who like thinks a G-Wagon Lamborghini is good marketing, which it might be uh, for his demographic of people buying Rolexes and stuff. But two, you know, one video every two weeks. Oh, man, especially when he's like grow, he's finally growing. His numbers are 40,000, 50,000 a video. I don't think that's good. I think he should be trying to make two videos, even if the video, like one time he tried to do live streaming, so he made a video a week, and then he live streamed, like maybe once or twice a week. But a video every two weeks, I don't get it. I think in terms of growth, it's not exactly like the watch market is very hot right now, and there's that many customers to deal with, in my opinion. But in terms of growth, um, also he, he drives Lambos, Ducati, I think like six or eight Ducatis. And now he's downgrading, because not because he wants to, but because there's no money left. It's very clear that he's going to trade his Lamborghini and his G-Wagon for a Jeep because there's no money left. It's kind of clear in my opinion that his two videographers are not working. They're, they all have side jobs. And I mean, why not? I mean, videographer is a great job to have in Los Angeles. There's so many social media influencers who need a videographer. And many of them get paid quite, quite a bit of money for that. So it's all kind of falling apart uh, at the seams. And so to see somebody rise as high as Anthony Rose in terms of social media, again, we can question the money and the stuff and investors. But he did have money at one time. I mean, he did have money at one time and he had a nice $1 million, $2 million watch collection. Uh, he lost a lot of money on the buyback program. This is just like the opposite way. Like, it's almost like a marketing guru. You know, when you look at Grant Cardone and stuff and they're trying to train or even Andrew Tate, it's like a, like a guy took it, their ideas, actually implemented them and this is the company you got, right? <laughs> I view it that way. I was like, wow, it's uh, what what's his name? Dan Locke, right? There's a lot of uh, marketing gurus online. Ty Lopez, Dan Locke. I mean, you know, I mean, there's a million marketing gurus online. It's like a normal our, our guy took their ideas and their concepts and their inspiration. And he paid a lot of money to also attend these meetings, these marketing meetings. So he's uh, a, he's definitely a student, but also a teacher of this marketing guru stuff on YouTube. And then the question is like, if he actually, if you actually applied what these people said, would your business be a successful business? Well, that's what we're finding out now is that it would on paper seem very successful with the Rolexes and giving your uh, videographer a, a blue Corvette, maybe $90,000, $100,000 Corvette, depends on the trim level, of course giving your other videographer a Mustang, you know, like, is this viable? And I think the answer is no. And that's why this arc is so interesting because we're finally finding out what happens when the money runs out. What happens when you don't have an investor giving you millions of dollars to spend on $17,000 dinners? Then how do you act? How do you behave? And we're seeing cutbacks. We, we're seeing, you know, uh, and everything from trading a Lamborghini in for a Jeep, selling his Ducatis, multiple Ducatis, by the way, to not eating out. There's no more eating out. There's no more partying. There's no more fancy rooms or residence or rentals. It's just a very basic apartment, the cheapest apartment you can have. Um, there's nothing anymore because there's no money. There's just simply no money. And that is the interesting part about this story is now we are at the storyline where there ain't no money left. What do you do then? Well, most people don't record that because then they fail. And then, you know, again, you want to be successful on YouTube. You want to appear that way, at least. It's fascinating. Hi, guys. Leave me a comment below if you guys know what I'm talking about.